I'm about to show you the best Fortnite low-end PC settings in Chapter 4 Season 3. I'm gonna guide you through the best Fortnite settings for your low-end device and as well some additional steps to increase your FPS even more. And in the first place guys, we're gonna be applying a stretch resolution in Fortnite and it's super easy with the tool AlphaRes. So you can find the link to it on my official website and there you're gonna get now the latest version. And in here now, we're gonna type in exactly the resolution 1024 times 768. This is by far the best one guys. And then for your FPS, you can lock it between 120 and 100 80 fps depending on how strong your current pc build actually is usually i would lock it to 120 fps but since we want to see how much we can actually get maximum on this build i'm going to keep it with 180 and click under apply and once we're now in fortnite itself we're going to go into our settings guys and there you can see that we're right now playing on directx 12 which is better for amd if you're on nvidia or intel you got to put it to the performance mode guys besides that you're going to make sure that you put everything on the lowest settings possible just simply copy everything which i have here and disable use gpu crash debugging and as a quick extra tip guys if you're struggling with ping and all of your favorite games you can actually try out the GR booster for absolutely free guys the link is going to be in description you can basically select one of your favorite competitive games just simply connect to it and the GR booster is going to make sure that you have the lowest ping possible guys you can see i have only 10 milliseconds latency which is insane first of all guys we're going to take a look at the ultimate windows tweaker which is available for windows 10 or windows 11 you can find it by the way on my official website and once you're on the tool itself it should tell you exactly your system specs guys where you can see that i'm right now you're running a ryzen 5 5625u with radeon graphics and what we want to do in the first place is move over to performance. Once we're in here, you're now going to copy all of the following settings, which I'm about to show you. We're going to drag all of these all the way to the left side. And next up, you're going to make sure that you actually copy all of the following tweaks, which are applied here, which are not going to mess up anything on your PC, guys. You can even create a restore point before, but what we want to do is basically make sure that all of these here are checked, something like turn off search indexer, something like disable smooth scrolling, disable edge tab preloading, disable tablet input services, disable the Windows Security Center service, since I use another other antivirus and the one from windows isn't really that great i'm not gonna lie there disable prefetch services disable super fetch services which is just collecting data on your pc disable printer spooling services and disable microsoft edge preloading then we're gonna head over here to security and privacy and in there we're gonna go to privacy and once you're in privacy you're gonna make sure that you disable all of these here except disable app access to camera since you're using maybe a webcam or anything which has something to do with a microphone. But here, telemetry, biometrics, advertiser ID, you can even read it yourself. It's basically just giving you more detailed ads in your Windows directly, which is already annoying enough. So therefore, yeah, make sure that you disable these. And then once you checked all of these, you're gonna go here now to apply real quick. Then you're gonna click under okay. And you can see that all of the tweaks have been applied now to your system. Yeah, you can see you're done. You have successfully applied the tweaks. However, to see the effects, you may have to restart your system. And this is exactly what you're gonna do now. So guys, and as you can see here, I'm right now in Fortnite actually on my own low end 1v1 map and as you can see we have super consistent and stable 144 fps even here in creative guys so therefore if you're trying to play here with these integrated graphics normal creative you're definitely gonna enjoy it a lot i can just simply edit here everything just as i would do usually on my normal pc and you can see it's super super smooth actually oh over there come on bro i got you Ah, oh, don't swim away. I got you. <laughs> Bro, I can even edit on this. Like, this is crazy for like an integrated graphics setup. This is so good, actually.